Hello everyone and welcome to Nancy's Magic Touch and DIYs. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. And if it's not, well, thank you so much for your support in coming back. In today's video, I have something very different and something new and I am so excited to share it with you. So let's get started. So as you can see, I bought myself a trailer. I am so excited. This is a toy hauler. We do have a side-by-side -side that we want to travel with. And I'm just going to show you um, the exterior a little bit. This is not my expertise. This is my hubby taking care of all the exterior stuff but I want to show you a little bit what it looks like. It has only one extension this time. Uh, we had a previous trailer that had four extension. It was a park model. It was huge, but now we decided that I want uh, to travel and we want to experience different things. So we downsized and got ourselves a toy hauler. And as you can see, when we get to the back, the beauty of this trailer is it gives me a little um, deck on the back and it's perfect for the dogs. So as you come in to my trailer, uh, I open the door and the first thing you see to the right here uh, will be a bedroom. It has a queen size bed and it has nice storage, two cabinets on top and drawers on the bottom on each side of the bedroom with some shelving on top. And this will actually be my daughter's bedroom and it will be absolutely perfect for her. As you look right across the door, you'll see that is the extension and the dinette area and this makes into a bed as well. So that gives us extra sleeping space. And as you can see the wall here where the fireplace and possibly maybe a TV a little bit later on down the road, um, on this wall over here, it actually has uh, two doors that you can slide uh, out and close for privacy for my daughter's bedroom, which is really uh, convenient. As you turn over to the left of the trailer, you see the kitchen area. It has a microwave, an oven, and a really good size fridge. It's not a whole lot of counter space, but I will make it work, trust me. And over a little bit to the right, you see a big um, food cabinet, uh, pantry, I guess you call it. And then again, here is the dinette area. And as you walk towards uh, the fridge and the pantry, there's a door that brings in to the bathroom. Over here you have the cute little black bathroom sink with storage underneath the sink and it also has a medicine cabinet on the top of the sink as well and a nice armoire on the side for a lot of storage for towels and blankets and has two drawers on the bottom and lots of storage space and on the other side there is a the toilet and a fair size shower this will definitely work for us for sure this trailer needs a really good cleaning uh, it hasn't been washed before uh, my hubby took it home so that's a little bit of work for me to do but that's okay i'm very excited and i'll take the cleaning i don't mind at all it has a nice vent on the top uh, to let some fresh air in and let the steam of the shower out. And uh, yeah, they have two doors on the bathroom, one on this side 
and as you go to the other side you'll see the door that will take you into the back room um, the back room is quite neat as you open the door you will see two big benches with a table in the middle and you see the little deck on the back the back door is wide open and it lays flat down and there is a cupboard on the other side of the room for extra storage um, and then as you turn over to the other side you'll see another outdoor entrance to the trailer with a vent to let some fresh air in as well um, I really love this room. This is where the side-by-side -side will fit in when we're travel. These bench lift up, you put the cushions away, and then there's lots of room for the side-by-side -side to fit in. So what you do is you remove that table and the cushions and you're all set to go. And where we're not traveling, this becomes a big king-size bed for me and my hubby. And that table here, you could use it when you're entertaining or when you need it to. And then when you don't, you just store it in um, the back of this room in the corner by where the cabinet is. And this is a perfect fit. It's actually perfect. And you can, you know, have some food on there, some snack and everything when you have company. Uh, so I think this is pretty great. It got the latches all over the floor to tie down your side by side. So this is a pretty neat area. I can see me uh, waking up next to the river and this is going to make me so, so happy. So as you walk down here, it's got a slant to make it easier for the side by side to come in. And then this is the deck. This deck folds all the way down and it's stuck to the side when the door comes up. And it has a beautiful gate for you to exit from the back of the trailer if you want to go outside rather than going through the main door of this back room. And this is a view of what it looks like from the deck to inside of the trailer. I think this is pretty neat. Um, and I uh, can't wait to get my hands on this trailer. It needs a good cleaning. And then I am going to decorate this beauty up and share the transformation with you when I'm done. I need to make this plain trailer inviting warm cozy and i need it to feel like i'm home that's very important to me and that's just what i'm going to do so on that note i'm gonna get busy and come back and show you the final result As we come into my daughter's bedroom, I put an inch and a half foam mattress to make it cozier. I put some micro fleece sheet, it's still very cold at night here where we are. And I put a duvet and then put a nice white quilt over the top to finish it off. I also put a beautiful warm blanket at the bottom of her bed in case she gets cold at night, she can pull it up. Over here, I have put two lamps in her bedroom, one on each side of the bed because the lighting is quite high and she's a tiny little thing. And I beautified her bed with one of her favorite dog. It's a Frenchie and she's dreaming of having one of those dogs one day. So I figured I put a little touch of it into her room in the camper. I put a little greenery planter on one side of her bed and a beautiful little Kleenex box that she really loves on the other side. I wanted to keep this room very nice, bright and clean looking and I think this turned out perfect. Into the living space, I have bought two runners and I had kind of crossed them uh, to go align with the door and the fireplace. I think these colors are really nice and soothing and clean looking and they match perfect to the wallpaper that's on this wall dividing to the bedroom. And I simply decorated this space with a lot of natural wood uh, colors and uh, it works out uh, perfectly. 
I uh, wanted to add a little greenery but not too much to this decor and it blends in all together uh, perfectly. Over in the dinette area, I added some beautiful cushions. I love me some cushions to get comfortable with my puppies. So I had it matching cushion to each side of the dinette and I think it works perfectly. On the table, I beautified it with some natural woven uh, placemat. Um, and on the wall, I put one of the frames that I had created for myself and of course, some blanket to keep warm with the puppies again. I added some basket underneath that bench and that creates extra storage as well, which is perfect. On the other side of the wall, I put these cute six by six canvas frame and I think they are the perfect size for that space. On the side of my fireplace, I put this beautiful woven natural basket with some blankets in it. And above the door, a cute little sign that says there's no place like home. I also created this frame above the fireplace some time ago. I think it looks absolutely perfect with the candle over the fireplace. It will give such a nice relaxing atmosphere with the fireplace on and the candle lit. I will put the link in the description box down below of those uh, frame and how I created that. So if you want to recreate it for yourself and just the had it touch of that natural wood color is just so soothing to the eyes and it's just perfect for a nice farmhouse clean looking and relaxing atmosphere. Over here on the side of the counter, I put a little black rod to hold my oven mitts and boards and whatnot, and it gives me extra storage space and it looks so cute. And I decided to actually pull the blind all the way up and use the top of the blind as a storage as well. I got some beautiful basket and hooks at Ikea's and it's perfect to put my coffee and my mugs and have everything handy for the morning close by. I got this beautiful caddy, wood caddy at the thrift store. It's perfect to put my plates in it as I don't have a lot of cupboard space. It works perfect. And this trio, now I have to redo the label, but I also got these at the thrift store and they work perfectly for the space. I think this is a really good idea. And on the other side here by the stove, I got this beautiful frame that says, uh, eat, drink, and be happy. And I got some utensils that I'm using for cooking on each side of that frame, which also work perfectly as well on that rod. This little tiny cupboard space now is a very functional. When I do travel with the trailer, all I do is put all these items in the sink uh, to keep them from falling and breaking. And I think everything is perfect for the space. It's gonna make my mornings and my cooking so much more easier and pleasant to deal with in that small counter space. Now in to the bathroom, I simply uh, put two frames on the side of this uh, cupboard here that says wash your hand, brush your teeth, 
a little greenery and a soap dispenser. This space is very tiny and I want to keep it uncluttered and clean looking and this is enough for that small sink area. And on the other side, I got a beautiful shower curtain with some grayish and black butterfly. And I replace those little metal hooks, um, silver metal hooks that was on top of the shower curtain with these cute little black hooks that I got at Winners. And uh, it just finishes it beautifully. So this is clean and simple in the bathroom for the small space area. Now going into the back room, I put a dark gray mat at the door as this is the door that we will be using the most. And I put some cushions on both of the bench and actually I put a throw in there as well. And on the back table, beautified it with a weave basket, a plant and the candle. And I also repeated the runner from the living room into the area in the middle here because the dog slid down that uh, thing that was going down for the side by side and I was afraid she was going to hurt her little paws. And I got two beautiful chairs with the cushions on them. These are so comfy and an umbrella to give us a little shade up here for us and the dogs as well. These chair here are very nice. You can lift the cushion and have a mesh chair if it's too hot outside or if you just came back from a swim and don't want to wet your cushions or why not. And this beautiful folding table as well to just put her snacks and drinks or etc. And this is what it looks like, a view from the outside on the patio deck with the table in the corner. And uh, I got the runner, but also the big mat for the uh, deck area here. Um, underneath here is a black material and it gets really, really hot. Uh, and I'm afraid the dogs is going to burn her little paws. So I fixed that with the same area rug. I put a basket with a nice blanket in case we get cold outside and place the table in the middle between the benches so that you can have a feel of what it looks like uh, on there. I also put some decor uh, pieces to this space just to warm it up and make it more cozy. I got a little relaxing sign and some frames to beautify this space. And I think this blends in perfectly and it's just the right amount of decor for this space. Now also, like I mentioned earlier in this video, these two benches turned into a big bed for me and my hubby. And I cannot wait to wake up in the morning with this patio deck down to the sound of the birds and the river. And it's just gonna be so comforting and relaxing. I can't wait to get started at camping. Well, that's it for this video, folks. I hope you enjoyed looking at my trailer transformation. I am so ready for camping. I hope you guys are excited for me and my little family. We are so thrilled to be able to now travel with trailer rather than staying at the same spot all the time. We are looking for new adventures and we're gonna have so, so, so much fun. If you like this video, please give me the big thumbs up. I wanna hear all your comments down below and 
Also, if you like this video and you haven't had a chance to subscribe to my channel, well, today is the perfect day to hit that subscribe button and join Nancy's Magic Touch and DIYs. Until next time, folks, you have yourself a wonderful day.